definitely I would put him up there as one of the best stylists we have on the championship tour. It must be a really cool feeling for a guy like Jake Marshall to look over and go, I'm in a heat with Joel Parkinson. I'm in a quarter final with Joel Parkinson. You got to get past that quick and surf like that. Laser sharp. I haven't seen him make a lot of mistakes throughout this event. There's one there. We'll see what that happen what happens there from the judge's perspective as now Pakadowskis gets involved. Flip side of that little uh, slip on the finish for Marshall. Pakadowskis puts the explanation point on the finish of that ride, blasting his tail through that toilet bowl section. Strong start for Patrick Kodowskis. All was deeper, but too deep. And that's the thing about Haliva. You can't get too far back. Uh, you'll, you just can't even take off in a wave. And this wave shifted right into Patty's hands. Um, and I love the finishing move. The first two snaps were nice, but that finishing move, more flair. He pushed the fins out. With the first scores yet to drop, Kodowskis is at it again. Could have a big section to work with. Solid finish there. And as he went into that last snapping, finishing maneuver, the score dropped to 717 for Pakadowskis to start. Some quick surfing, good reflexes for Kodowskis. And this is his backup score. And uh, as you mentioned, really quick reflex. He's surfing two foot sunset point or 15 foot west peak. Here we go, Parko. Always silky smooth. Joel Parkinson. He's one of those surfers that even if you just see a silhouette, you know exactly who it is. Yeah. I've seen it so many times where, you know, it's just the arm movement, the placement, the way he is kind of coiled up into his turns. Nobody surfs like Joel Parkinson. No, yeah. he's, he's loose. That's yeah. his I wish signature. I could surf like this. He's just, he never looks tight and rigid. He's always just kind of jello out there. Uh, and he combines that with power. Um, we talk about his style a lot, but you know his technique is really nice. Uh, it allows him to just kind of do those clean wraps. You always see Parko nailing the whitewash after a cutback. Um, so it's going to be an okay backup score. Finally, Jack Robinson gets a wave. Pretty deep in the lineup too, which always feels sketchy because you never know when Holly was going to shut you down. But lucky for Jack, this one stayed open and allowed him to kind of milk it all the way through. No real big, huge moves in that wave, but he's on the board. It's a couple of waves pumping through the lineup now. Joel Parkinson trying to protect that second place standing. The wave uh, kind of collapses around him. He's got to pull out where uh, he's going to have to rely on all his competitive knowledge to make the right choice. Here goes Joel Parkinson. Trying to get around this section. A little foam climb there. Gets the end punt wow. section and somehow whips it around, disappearing into the white water, pops back up in control. You know, there is one thing the judges love to see and that is to not see best score. He's already got a five. And here, let's see what Joel does. You can see this wave uh, not very long, so he knows he has to do something special to get a decent score. Old bones to spin around right there. That was cool. New school move. That drops Jake Marshall. Third place, he uses his priority here. They have a nice section to work with here on the inside. Gets the snap and the finish. Ooh, with the bonus section on the inside, blasting the fins out. So Jake Marshall surfing for a 1-3-4, did that and some. Him to take down one of his idols would be huge. Nice carve there to open up, strong move. I love this little tail flick on the inside though. Right here, watch this little whitewash move, dang just to add a little salt to that. Surf that wave much better than the wave was trying to allow him. It's manufacturing a score. There's a perfect illustration of that. He's kind of trying to do that again here, this wave. Not super good. Agree with you, Chris. It might you know, just be better than his 5-2-3, so he's looking safe at this point. Robbo, finally, you can see he kicked up the energy. A little bit of opportunity out the back, and this is a much better looking wave. Gadowskis streaking down the line, your current leader. Deep bottom turn around that section. Wave still has more to offer through the inside. It's a little styly finish. Gadowskis with three minutes and 30 seconds to go. Looking to better a 5-2-3. I would say that's kind of right there in that zone. As we're waiting for scores to pop up for Jake Marshall. The ocean was pretty stubborn in his seat. Finally, it's providing 
Nice opening move there. That's a, a vertical hit for Pat Kodowskis. He's going to finish this wave off. Didn't get another great section, but the section he did get was on the outside, and the judges tend to like that. That shows commitment at the start of the wave. A prime time for a guy to uh, make his charge towards the championship tour. He's in a good position. Uh, Parko had priority, had a look, and he let Jack go, and that's the reason why Parko let that wave go. Well, has priority, and look at the lumps, Chris. Oh, here we go. 40 seconds on the clock. Kodowskis in the lead. Jake Marshall in second. Joel Parkinson with priority, looking for a 4-4-0. Four, four, Starts off strong, vertical snap, gets that open face, quick carb, almost goes down in a second turn. Here's where Parko can do some damage. Gets the big finish. Easily fighting through that wild start and looking for a 4-4-0. Four, four, when you're trying to defend against a guy like Joel Parkinson. Three, two, one. Ooh. That was one of those occasions where, uh, you know, Jake Marshall had priority, but he didn't stand up in time, but Jack did stand up in time, so he might even incur a, a, pr a priority interference there, but uh, I, I think it was irrelevant. He didn't get up in time, and Joel most likely is going to get that 4.4, so Joel, a little buzzer beater there, Chris. Gadaskis is safe. He stayed out of the fray, got his big scores early in that heat. There it so is. Congratulations to Pakadowskis, a semi-finalist. Now let's make it official with who's going to move through in second place. Parko gets it, Chris. Yeah, Joel Parkinson gets the score, a 5-4-7 for the veteran surfer of Koolangatta, Australia. Trying to make it count for his last event here at Haleiwa. And we lose two incredible surfers in Jake Marshall and Jack Robinson.